Hey there, this is Paul Puna, super excited to talk to you about TalkingPhotos.ai. We released the version 1.0 that you're getting access to right now. First of all, before we get underway, let's talk about how you can access your account. So all you have to do is you'll see the link for the Talking Photos application. You go to app.talkingphotos.ai or even the reset password link. So you should have seen that in the email that I sent you. In any event, all you have to do is go to this little link, which, which we're going to go to app.talkingphotos.ai, forgot password. Uh, I've given you the link as well, but in the event you click here and it's gonna say reset password. Now here, you're gonna enter your purchase email, okay? This is the email that you use to purchase the product or even your regular email address, okay? If you're not sure exactly which one, try a couple of them and then you enter your email at whatever, right? And then you click on this reset password button. Now, why we are doing this is we don't want to create existing passwords for you, which is not secure. We rather you just reset your own password and create it for the first time. After that, thereafter, you can log in with that and change the password yourself, whatever. You can do whatever you wanna do. Now, once you do that, you're gonna see the link that's gonna show up like this, okay? So this is gonna mean your email address. You're gonna see that in your inbox where you can also check your promo tab or whatever. It's gonna show up here. To change your password, please click this link and it's gonna go to your unique link here. Click on it, you can change your password effectively, okay? now. Here's where uh, you have to, uh, once you set up your password, you're gonna log into the talkingphotos.ai application. One quick thing I wanna mention here is that at any point you're having any issues, email or support at support at talkingphotos.ai, all right? So this is our support team, they're on the line to help you out with anything you need. Make sure that if you're unable to reset your password or you're having any issues logging in or anything like that, just email us at support at talkingphotos.ai. I will be happy to assist you. I just don't want you to be left behind for any reason. So just make sure you email us if you're stuck with any step of the process, okay? Because the pass forgot password should work where you should be able to log in. If you forgot your email or some other reason is coming up and you want us to manually set it up for you, let us know, okay? So that we can help you. Anyway, let's say it's worked. Now you're in the Talking Photos application. Let's walk through these steps. As soon as you log in, it's gonna show up something like this. Welcome to Talk us. you're gonna see a video here that shows the whole overview here. And then also obviously you're gonna see some message here that we're adding a ton of feedback and all that. And then everything starts at this create video step. Let's walk through that right now. So first thing you click on create video. So as you can see here, these are the options that are available. So first of all, we've introduced this right here. So this is ready to go, the human video. And this is where you can basically either generate an image using our AI image generation system and then create a talking human video with hand movements and stuff like that. Or you can upload your own photos and then create a talking photo or a talking video, right? With that photo with hand movements and stuff like that. Uh, you have two choices. I'll talk to you uh, in just a second what those are. We'll walk you through that. You can all, we also have a tutorial on that uh, once you log into the application, which is basically there as well. The other uh, is 2D, 3D, which is coming soon. Okay, so in other words, when you click on it, you see this, this feature is coming soon. This should be coming up in the next uh, couple of weeks or so, maybe slightly sooner. We're just doing some final updates and stuff like that. Now, this is where you generate a cartoon version. Um, and uh, this can be, again, through a prompt or even where you upload your own photo. So let me just kind of show you the cartoon version that's kind of coming up right now. So you'll see how it works out. So the cartoon version will be, let's say I upload my own photo and then I can generate a cartoon version like this, okay, talking. So there you go. So you give it the hand movement and stuff like that. That's being worked on right now. And then the other one is the animal video. So this also will show coming soon when you click on it. The reason is we're doing some final tests on this as well. It's gonna be coming up in the next uh, couple of weeks or slightly less. We'll update you. That's gonna be the version 2.0 because this is gonna be a massive, massive update when we add that in. So the talking um, animals will uh, look something like this. I'll show you right now. I'm so excited as you can see from my voice. This is gonna be the best thing that I've ever created and you're gonna be so blown away when I show this to you. It is so exciting, so fun, so beautiful, so perfect that I've never seen anything like this ever in my life before. And the video face swap option which you can see here, like here, this is the video face swap. And that's basically where you can just upload your own photos or gener generate photos and then use those photos to basically face swap any video. This would look something like this. So let's say you have a spokesperson like her and you wanna add a face swap around her face here, 
well, you can do that. Basically, that's the basic idea for the face swap. We're doing some final experiments for this one as well. So that's the other approach. It gives you a little bit more flexibility in um, cases where you want to use um, any spokesperson or any kind of uh, person videos where you want to add face swap off of your photos. That's also the next um, thing that we are adding in. Pretty exciting stuff. All these are coming up. So what we can do right now. So you can use this for the version 1.0. First of all, you can use the chest aspect ratio. Uh, this is basically you can do 16 by 9, which is like your YouTube style videos, right? Or you have this, which is 9 by 16, which is more vertical videos for TikTok and Instagram and stuff like that, right? Instagram Reels and all that, even YouTube Shorts for that matter. So here, as you can see, if you're just starting off, then you can just click on this option right here, and then you can just click on Create New Character. So here, just to kind of show you what I just did, so you generate character, I put female or male, you wanted to drop in, I put female, I just put businesswoman 25 years old with blonde hair, and it generated her, right? It always generated a pose that will get you the best hand movements and stuff, always facing forward, not looking left or right. Uh, it's not showing back shots where there's no face visible, right? So we implemented a cool strategy behind the scenes that will always force the AI to generate the perfect image pretty much every single time so that it can generate the motions and hand movements and uh, lip sync and all that kind of good stuff, all right? So now that's option number one. So we can now go ahead and use her as our spokesperson and then uh, uh, add motion and stuff like that which you see here, so we can go to the next step. Or if you wanna use your own photos, that's another option as well. So here, you see here, she's like this, um, just watch out here. Now, the other option is you can just go and see this right here, drag and drop or upload your file or choose from media library, right? So you can upload a photo and create a talking photo or a talking person from that, right? So click choose media library. I have one that I have here of her. Uh, let's just generate here, so you see here, I have her. Now, if I want to use her uh, and then do the same thing, right? Meaning use her face and her attributes. And let's say I just want to change blonde hair. I can do that too. So let's just click generate now. Same thing. So what it's going to do now is it's just going to have blonde hair to her. And then now it's just going to use her attributes and basically uh, generate a perfect model. The other way is if you want to keep her attributes and you want to put red hair, uh, you want to use her attributes, right? Effectively, you see what I'm saying, right? Or you want her to wear a suit or whatever, you can do that too, okay? Does that make sense? So that's the other option. There you go, our image got generated, see? Now it's her facial attributes like you see here, right? And then it got generated in like a businesswoman gear, uh, like, um, you know, you can see here, right? Clothing and all that. Now, the same thing here, if I wanted to make it here, I just want to change, so let's say red hair, uh, blue eyes, right? Um, and then you can say freckles on face, because she has some freckles on her face, right? So you want to do that, you can do that. Let's click regenerate now. There we go. So it has a little bit more of her features. You see, this is just with her straight hair, but it looks exactly like her pretty much, right? Just you have bluer eyes and stuff. So this is the other step, right? You can do uh, where she added that freckles again because she had in her face around here, right? So she added some freckles here towards her chest a little bit and then um, here, right here, right? So you see that right there. So that's the other thing. So once we're happy with this, we can go next. And here you can add a bunch of these emotions, right? Uh, you can preview them and see how it is. Uh, this is basically hand movements and how you want them to be waving hello, peace sign, happy, sad, whatever. And then you click, uh, you like whatever you see. And then you can just uh, say like, this is the one, both arms raised or whatever. And then you, you can click next. And then you want to put whatever you want to type in here, okay? So this could be using the text-to-speech for the emotions and stuff like that and all that kind of stuff. You can use the text-to-speech. You can even import your own audio uh, for the speech and stuff like that. Uh, language doesn't matter. So we have all these other languages here, as you can see here. And then you can put your uh, script in here. And then I just pasted something here. And I can put happy, sad, whatever, cheerful, whatever and then click on the import speech button. And that's when you finish uh, generating the text to speech, right? So then there we go. So perfect, you can play it to preview it if you want and then click next and then give it a project name. So I can say business woman uh, one or whatever, okay? And then click render video. So it's gonna take about 20 minutes roughly, sometimes sooner um, around there to generate your video and close to my videos here. So there we go. So let me show you some examples here, okay? So this one right here, um, like for example, you see this. So this is the one with like a little bit more dancing and stuff like that from an image. Uh, this one right here is a little bit, as you can see.
So our video just got finished. As you can see here, the business woman one display. Pretty cool, right? So the, this is how the animations, the hand movements and stuff like that work off of a simple photo, right? And then, as I mentioned before, there's different hand movement styles that you can pick and emotions and stuff like that, angry or sad or happy, that kind of thing as well that you can pick when you're creating the videos. Let me show you a couple other ones. This is the other one, right? So pretty cool. Now, what I wanted to kind of mention here is this is very important that you understand. In order to generate the perfect hand movements, this is the kind of approach, right? To make sure that they're always standing straight and always giving the best output. That's how we've fine-tuned the whole system so that when you actually go in here and then you go back here, right? And then let's say you uh, try to generate, new, or you can even uh, reuse a previous character, by the way, right? So let's say I liked her in my previous uh, system. I can just click select and then I can go next, right? And then I can reuse the existing character from the past, right? That's the, also the other option. But what I kind of wanted to mention here is if you go to choose a uh, character and then you click um, uh, select, right? Just make sure that that video is finished. You see how it says project doesn't exist because that video is not finished yet. So you always want to go and click on uh, a, a project that's already finished when you're doing the previous one. So let's say this one is done, right? This dance test one, I can click select and I can use her. You see this? Now I can go straight to the text to speech because already all the elements are already done, right? And I can just make her uh, again speak more stuff with the same hand movements and stuff like that. That's what we mean by reuse previous character, right? To add more, uh, create longer length and all that kind of stuff, right? So um, let me go back here one more time. And then here, as you can see here, go back to human video. The other uh, thing here is that, let me actually show you. So you see this right here? So we can uh, download it once it's done like so, play it and then you can delete it, you can even clone the project, right? You can reuse, that's what that reuse the same character means. But if I go to click create video here, I won't show you here, and then I click select and create new uh, character here instead if I wanna go from scratch. Um, so let's say if you want to type in, let's say a male this time, because I showed you the female example, but let's say you can say, uh, for example here, uh, doctor who is 50 years old with gray hair and uh, blue eyes, let's say, right? It'll always generate perfect photos. As you can see, that's the reason why it takes a little bit longer, generate about 15 seconds or so, uh, but because we wanna make sure it always is perfect. See, his eyes are visible, lips are visible perfectly, the hair is gray, he's wearing the doctor's costume, you see? This is the reason why we've done it. So you can do different costumes here, like say, uh, you wanna make him uh, wear a suit, you wanna make him just wear like a golf t-shirt, right? Stuff like that, you can make that happen. The idea here is that we've, fine tune the system behind the scenes so that it'll always generate the perfect positioning uh, is always centered of the um, image and stuff like that so that you don't have to worry about the quality of the images nor do you have to worry about the doctor looking left right or not the face not showing okay a lot of work went behind that and that's the same thing that we're going to do when you go back and, and you're going to do 2d 3d animal and the face swap uh, elements as well especially the 2d 3d and the animal that's the goal so in a nutshell just to summarize Right now, go reset your password, create your account. This is version V1.1, 1.0, uh, right? So we're gonna be adding a lot more features. This is coming up uh, right here, that the talking animals and also the, the face swap as well. Team is working diligently on this. So the version 2.0, we are like to calling uh, call it because that's gonna come with a whole host of these features and some stuff I cannot share right now, which is even more cooler. That's gonna be coming up in about a couple of weeks, um, just slightly less, slightly more, depending on our, you know, how our team does some tests because we're running some experiments still. So once that is ready, I'll send you another email out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna notify the uh, version here as well. So you'll know when you're logging in, you're like, oh, okay, it says version 2.0 now. That means that the uh, version got updated, excellent. And then you can use all those features, okay? The other thing that we're gonna be adding in as well is subtitles that's coming up as well along with that version 2.0, okay? So the way that's gonna work is once the video is created, you can add subtitles to it uh, and then tweak the color of the subtitles and captions and all that kind of stuff as well. So a lot of cool features coming in. I will keep be sending you another update soon. Watch out for it. It's gonna be amazing because it's so easy to use the application. And also the fun thing here is that when we do an update, every time you log in, that update will be automatic, okay? So watch out for my next email with that big update. That's when we're gonna be doing our entire training series that we have coming up and other good stuff because 
with all those features, then you'll have an action plan uh, to take your business and your video creation to the next level as well. So watch out for that. And yes, that update is free. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to buy anything that is coming up as well. So watch out for my next update. Enjoy using the application for now and I'll talk to you soon.